All right, so let's first go into support vector machines and look at it more from a classifier perspective and ask some questions on what we're trying to solve and looking at the math. So first, for hard margin SVM, what do we mean by a goal of an SVM? We want to draw a hyperplane to separate linearly separable data. That's the goal of a hard margin SVM. And how do we choose among possible number of hyperplanes in the data? So for example, in this, in this diagram, we have black dots and white dots. Black dots have been labeled as plus, white dots have been labeled as minus. And if we were to segregate these points and classify them, we have three possible ways to do it. One is the red line, another one is the blue line, another one is the green line. And there's a lot more possibilities, but we have just shown the three. Now within the three, which one should we choose? That's a question that we're trying to answer. One obvious answer is to choose the one with the maximum margin with the lowest number of errors. Yeah. So then we need to look at the margins of each of those lines or the each of the hyperplanes and choose the one which has got the maximum margin. So in this particular example, the margins have been shown for both blue line and the red line. And it is very obvious that the margins that we have drawn here for the red line is larger. Therefore, one possible solution for this particular case is the red line as the separating hyperplane. Okay, But then, that is just intuition. How are we going to actually calculate the margins comes the next question. What we are going to actually be doing is we are representing the same points. Now we have just colored them up in blue and green. And we are going to come back to our linear regression formulation, which is this particular red line is going to be optimized for y, y equal to wx minus b. Okay, so that's the equation we are going to be optimizing it for. And therefore, when we draw a margin, which is a line that we have drawn on the positive side in this particular case towards the blue w times x minus b is equal to 1 that's kind of the line we are actually going to be drawing here on this side on the positive side similarly on the negative side we are going to be drawing w times x minus b is equal to minus 1 so that's the line we are actually going to be intending to draw to optimize for us to get a clear segregation for both the positive and the negative points. Obviously, what we are interested in is calculating the margin. So what does that mean? Margin is a line that actually passes through the nearest points near the hyperplane. So if the red line is the hyperplane, then the margins are the points on either side that are nearest to the hyperplane. So in blue scenario, we have drawn the margin for, that touches or goes across these two blue points. And in green's case, we have only one point, green point, on which this margin line is being drawn. So that's what we are intending to optimize. Now, let's now look at the maths. If y is equal to 1, which means we are on the positive side, we have classified the data points as 1, then the ideal optimization equation, like I mentioned earlier, would be w times x minus b is equal to 1, which we can mathematically write as w transpose x. So this is just a, a matrix transpose times the x, which is the feature or the independent variables, plus an offset constant b should be greater than or equal to 1. That's the line we are trying to draw here and fit it. Same way on the negative side, where we want y is equal to minus 1, which is the classifier's answer we are looking at. And therefore, the regression equation becomes w times x minus b is equal to minus 1, which can also be rewritten as w transpose x plus b less than or equal to 1. Okay. 
So those are the two point two equations that we really want to optimize for with respect to the margins. Okay. Now when we combine those two, what we get as a formulation is that y into W transpose X plus B should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Now, that is the regression that we want to satisfy. However, our interest is not only just that regression, but also to find the hyperplane with the maximum margin. So let's now define the margin mathematically. The margin is defined as 2 by W norm. Okay. For those who are new for W norm or the norm of a vector, in this particular case, we are referring to the two norm of a vector, which is the squared sum of all the diagonals in the vector. Okay. And then after you've done the squared sum of the diagonals in the vector, you do take a square root to calculate the norm value of a vector. So what we are actually interested in is the margin, which is calculated as 2 by W norm. Okay. Now, we want to maximize 2 by W norm. Conditional that we satisfy these two conditions for regression coefficients. Therefore, our actual formulation, finally, for hard margin SVM becomes a minimization of 1 by 2 W norm whole square. Why is it changed from here? Is that we have just put them the other way around because we want to maximize this coefficient. We have inversed this and called it a minimization problem. Okay, That's why it is 1 by 2 times W norm the whole square. Okay, Why the square is being brought in here would be more clear if you have covered my gradient distant uh, videos. And in short, what we can say is these squares are being brought in to facilitate our mathematical calculations when we compute the derivatives, okay? which will be used in the gradient descent optimization. All right. So now the final formulation for support vector machines is 1 by 2 times W norm the whole square, conditional or such that, y times w transpose x plus b is greater than 1 for all elements. So this constraint must hold good for all training data points of x and y. Okay. So that's the quick summary of what a hard margin SVM is and what we formulate as a hard margin SVM. I hope you enjoy this video. The next videos will cover soft margin SVMs, kernel trick, and kernels. Thank you very much.